Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima, El Fenomeno, R9, and for a while, the best footballer on the planet. The Brazilian made the leap from South America to Europe in the summer of 1994 after winning the World Cup in the United States, albeit being unused throughout the tournament. In between the World Cups in America and France, Ronaldo netted 145 goals from 153 games in European club football, as he spent two years at PSV, a year at Barcelona and began his first year at Inter Milan. He was simply unstoppable. Ronaldo had won cup competitions in both the Netherlands and Spain, as well as the UEFA Cup for Inter Milan and the Cup Winners' Cup with Barcelona. Brazil were earmarked as a firm favourites going into the World Cup in 1998. Such was Brazil's quality that even Romario didn't make the squad, but with the likes of Roberto Carlos, Rivaldo, Cafu, Emerson, Danielson, Bebeto, Dunga and Claudio Tafarel, Brazil were expected to make the final with ease. They were drawn a relatively easy group featuring Morocco, Norway and Scotland. Ronaldo, 21 with a whopping 37 caps prior to the tournament, net three times prior to the final, once in the group stage against Morocco and twice in a win over Chile in the round of 16. The host France would join him in the final at the Stade de France. The fact remained, despite a strong team containing Bates, Leboeuf, Turam, Zidane, Jokaev, Desai and Deschamps, that Brazil were still the favourites. The world settled down on the evening of July 12, 1998, to watch the final of the 1998 World Cup and instantly met with a shock. Ronaldo was not in the squad, Edmundo was in. For roughly half an hour, chaos surrounded the press box in Paris until a second Brazilian team sheet was distributed amongst the journalists in attendance. Ronaldo was back in. The match proceeded with Ronaldo up top and Bebeto and Ronaldo barely got a kick in the entire game. The match belonged to Zinedine Zidane, who headed in from two corners in a 3-0 win. France had won their first World Cup, Brazil and Ronaldo were thwarted. Conspiracy theories banded about afterwards included Nike pressured Brazil to field an unfit Ronaldo up front. That turned out to be untrue, as per Ronaldo's roommate Roberto Carlos, who stated that Ronaldo had suffered a seizure on the day of the final. Ronaldo eventually played amid fears from Carlos that he would die on the pitch. He didn't die and would play out the remainder of his career with Brazil until 2006 with an honorary appearance in 2011. Ronaldo would finish his career with stints at Real Madrid, AC Milan and Corinthians before retiring in 2011. Injury plagued Ronaldo's career. He played just 52 club games between the final against France in 1998 and the 2002 World Cup in Japan and South Korea. A ruptured knee ligament that was constantly aggravated kept Ronaldo out for the entirety of the 2000-2001 season. He would be a part of the 1999 Copa America winning Brazil team and the 2002 World Cup winning side, where he won the golden boot with 8 goals. Still with his illustrious career, Ronaldo remains one of the greatest footballers to play in Europe but to never win the European Cup alongside Diego Maradona. But let's slide the doors open, gauge the effect of the butterfly and rewrite the football in history books. Here's what would have happened if... Ronaldo didn't have a seizure before the 1998 World Cup final. Ronaldo took to the Stade de France field just like any other game. The world was prepared for Ronaldo vs Zidane, Brazil vs France. Five minutes in, Ronaldo got the run on Frank Leboeuf and power past the centre half. He slid a shot underneath Fabian Bartes to put Brazil into an early lead. Zidane would head in on 27 minutes and again in first half stoppage time. France won their first World Cup in the backyard with a 2-1 win over the favourites. Ronaldo returned to Italy for his second season at Inter Milan and dragged the Nerazzurri to third place in Serie A. The Brazilian hit 41 goals from 48 games in all competitions as Inter bowed out at the Champions League quarter-final stage to treble win in Manchester United. Ronaldo clinched his second trophy at Inter with the Coppa Italia in a 4-2 aggregate win over Fiorentina. Off the back of a golden boot in Serie A, Ronaldo played his third international tournament in three years with a 1999 Copa America. He struck seven goals in six games as Brazil romped to the title, coupled with another golden boot. Ronaldo continued into the new millennium, showing no signs of stopping for both club and country. Another 56 goals in the following season netted Inter finals in the Copa and the Champions League. They were pipped to the Serie A title by a single point from Lazio but gained revenge in a 3-2 aggregate win in the Copa final. Real Madrid were reported to be caught in Ronaldo ahead of the 2000 Champions League final, where Ronaldo lined up in the black and blue of Inter against the all-white of Real Madrid. Ronaldo struck early on in the final, but as in Paris two years previously, his team would lose 2-1, another final lost. And in that summer, Real Madrid broke the world transfer fee record to bring Ronaldo to the Bernabeu. He would begin the 2000-2001 season alongside other signings Luis Figo and Claude Makélélé. Real were in the process of building a team of Galacticos, Ronaldo's strike partner, for example, switched between Raul and Fernando Morientes, 
Luis Figo, Roberto Carlos, Ica Casillas, Fernando Hierro, Michel Salgado, Claude Makalela and even Steve McManaman were amongst Real Madrid's starting eleven. Ronaldo hit 31 goals in La Liga, stealing the Pachichi from teammate Raul by two goals as he hit a hat-trick in a 5-1 win over Valladolid on the final match day. A 14-point lead would be the damage in La Liga to Deportivo La Coruña in second. Real embarrassed Valencia 3-0 in the 2001 Champions League final. The potential treble was destroyed by Real Zaragoza of all teams. Real succumbed to a 2-1 aggregate defeat in the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey. Ronaldo's sights were firmly set on the World Cup in Japan and South Korea in 2002. Brazil had gone undefeated in qualification, they had won the 2001 Copa America thanks to 9 goals in 6 games from Ronaldo. For his club, the much sought after treble was clinched thanks to the signing of Zinedine Zidane from Juventus. In the 2001-2 season, Ronaldo hit over a goal a game. Real won the league by 19 points, they defeated Deportivo in the Copa del Rey final and Leverkusen were thrashed in Glasgow. Ronaldo got 2 goals in each final. Brazil with the emerging stars of Ronaldinho, Lucio and Kaka as well as the talent from the previous World Cups, were made odds-on favourite in the Far East by some bookmakers. Those bookmakers were proved right inside the group stages. Ronaldo had notched two hat-tricks and scored eight of Brazil's 15 group stage goals in wins over Turkey, China and Costa Rica. Ronaldo had the golden boot wrapped up, and with knockout stage goals over Belgium, England and Turkey, Ronaldo became the World Cup's all-time goalscorer. He netted twice in the final against Germany, in what was lambasted as being a foregone conclusion, with Michael Ballack ruled out for Germany through suspension. The World Cup winner's medal in 2002 might have been Ronaldo's second by definition, but it was his first World Cup won by Brazil that he had played him. It was the pinnacle of his career. But it wouldn't stop there. Two more Copa Americas in 2004 and 2007, and two more UEFA Champions Leagues, and three more La Liga titles followed for Ronaldo. He would become La Liga's record goalscorer with 386 goals, his goal record only dwarfed by Lionel Messi. Ronaldo returned for a year at Corinthians in 2012 and remains Brazil's all-time highest goal scorer on 82 goals, 5 ahead of Pelé. Let's take it to the winners and losers. Brazil, winners, because Ronaldo led them to 5 successive Copa Americas as well as 2 World Cups. FC Porto, because the 2004 Champions League was wrestled away from them by a Ronaldo hat-trick in the final at Gelsenkirchen. Valencia, losers because their long wait for a La Liga title since 1970 continues due to Real Madrid's five successive Liga wins. Real Madrid and Ronaldo, because La Decima was achieved in Glasgow against Bayer Leverkusen in 2002. Is this the alternative universe you expected? Please let us know in the comments section if you have any suggestions for a future scenario. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash a like on the video and subscribe to What If Football for more alternate football universes.